Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. Today I'm showing you the super simple three ingredient recipe for almond milk or any nut milk you'd like. All you need is a cup of your favorite nut. I love almonds, I also use cashews, you could do walnut, whatever tickles your fancy. So one cup of these, four cups of filtered water, and just a little pinch of salt for some flavor. Now this recipe takes practically no work. All you need to do is pop your cup of almonds in some filtered water in a mason jar or something of the sort and leave it to soak overnight. Now I have already soaked these so we're going to drain this out, give them a good rinse off and then go ahead with the recipe. So after you've soaked your almonds for at least four hours, but preferably overnight, we're gonna give them a good rinse here. So go ahead and pour out that water, toss it out, get some clean filtered water, mix it around. I'm just getting all of that gunk off and then drain the rest of the water. We're gonna pour those almonds into your high speed blender, add in a pinch of salt to taste and then add four cups of filtered water. Now, if you are making a flavored milk, you can go ahead and pop whatever ingredients you'd like in right now. And then we're gonna turn on the blender at about medium speed. You can make it faster as the chunks get smaller, but completely up to you. And we just want to blend that until everything is smooth. It isn't going to be completely smooth because we are still going to have that almond meal in there. We just want really, really, really small chunks. Now layer some cheesecloth over a mixing bowl. If you also have one of those little mesh bags, that can work as well. We're just going to pour the almond milk through the cheesecloth into the bowl. This way, all of the pulp that came from those almonds is going to get caught. And we'll make sure that our almond milk or whatever nut milk you're using is super smooth without any grittiness. Now, if you are more patient than I am, you can wait until all of the bubbles have gotten out of this almond milk. But because I was filming and didn't want to lose the light, I just squeezed everything out with the foam still in it. The foam will die down after a while. But you just want to take up all of the corners of your cheesecloth and squeeze out all of the liquid. Make sure that you keep the pulp that's in there. It's great for smoothies, crackers, flour, bunch of different recipes, and just squeeze until all the liquid has gone. Now that liquid is your almond milk, delicious, super fresh. You can chill that, make sure you screw the lid on to whatever you're keeping it in, and it can keep for about four to five days in the fridge. Just make sure to give it a sniff if you're getting later in the days. It will smell a little off if it has gone bad. So with just a little bit of work, an overnight soak, and maybe about five minutes of actual prep, you have a full quart of almond milk. Super delicious, really fresh, tastes great in everything from chia pudding to your cereal. Wherever you normally use dairy milk, you can use some of this. It just gives it a really nice nutty flavor. And not only do you get that full quart of almond milk, but you also get, when you squeeze that all out, the almond meal or pulp. So this is a little crumbly. You can pop it in the dehydrator and grind it up to make some gluten-free almond flour. You can also pop it into smoothies, use it to make crackers. It has so many uses, so nothing goes to waste. One of the other great things about this super simple recipe is all you have to do to add a flavor is pop an extra ingredient into the blender when you're blending everything up. One of my favorites to add in is a little bit of cinnamon. It makes the milk taste so good, especially if you're having an over granola. Yes, please. So I'd love to know, what do you use almond milk for? Do you make your own? Do you buy it at the store? But what is your favorite recipe or just meal in general that uses almond milk or whatever kind of milk is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video and this super simple recipe, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you won't miss any future videos. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and on Sundays, these little fluffs are the stars of the show. 
So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day or evening wherever you are, and we'll see you again soon. Bye! This is the Bach Rescue Remedy Spray. This is a mini version, so it's super, super small, so easy to travel with. But I have dealt with anxiety my entire life. I get panic attacks out of the blue. So I'm not a nervous traveler. I love to travel. I've traveled on my own since I... When you make a mess taking pictures for the blog slash YouTube, the girls can clean it up. Is that yummy? What do you think, Tink? So after showing you the girls eating almonds, I did want to mention that while they are non-toxic, you don't want to feed your dog too many almonds because they're high in fat and it can upset their stomach.